Hey everyone, I still remember when I was in 10th grade, everyone said just get good grades in 10th board and your life would be set. I got really pumped and worked hard, got decent marks and then thought my life would be set. Unfortunately, it wasn't the case. Then everyone said just get good grades in 12th board and your life would be set. I did that, got good grades but still life was not set. Then everyone said just get into a good engineering college and your life would be set. I got into a decent engineering college and then they said just get a good placement in your life would be set. I got placed but life was not set. Then I did my MBA, again got placed but eventually I realized that I have become a part of this rat race where everyone is blindly running behind money. To be really honest, I never enjoyed this life. So I made it very clear that I don't want to work till 60 years of my life. And that's when I came across this idea to achieve financial freedom at an early age. The entire idea was to achieve a financial state where I don't have to trade my time for money. Obviously, I would still work, but the idea was to do what I really love doing. So in the next few years, I practiced some important steps that helped me achieve financial freedom. And in this video, I've tried to compile these steps in a framework and pre present it to you. All right, let's get started. So the first step is I focused on increasing my income. Many people ask me to suggest stocks that could create multi-bagger return. Now let's say I suggest some stocks and they generate say 10 times return. But what if you had invested just 10,000 rupees? That would become 1 lakh. Great return. But will it make any substantial impact in your life? Not really. And that's where the first and the most important step in achieving financial freedom is to focus on increasing your income. Now how do you increase your income? by acquiring skills that have high demand and low supply. See, there are thousands of jobs out there. While some jobs pay lower salary, some jobs pay decent salary, and some jobs pay crazy high salaries. Why is there a difference in salary? The reason is supply and demand. If there's a skill that is in high demand and there are only a few people with those skills, then you will fetch crazy high salary. On the other hand, if there is a skill with low demand and there are many people with that skill, then obviously you will fetch a lower salary. So ultimately your earnings will depend upon your skills. So you need to identify your area of interest and figure out the skills that are in high demand and work hard for the next few years to become a master in that skill. For example, if you are a computer engineer and like to code, then figure out skills that are in high demand like your, your artificial intelligence, machine learning, blockchain development, data scientist, etc. Likewise, if you have a creative mindset, then there are high demand for jobs like animation, graphic designing, video editing, and so on. Okay, let me give you my own example. So during my MBA placement, I got into data analytics role with Infosys. And I worked hard to master the skill and eventually moved to London at client location. That resulted in multifold jump in my salary. It helped me save a decent corpus before I could quit my job. Moreover, before I decided to quit my job, I made sure that I acquired the skill of money management and then acquired the skill of how to teach it online. I knew that more than 90% of people in India have no clue about money management and many people want to learn it as it is one of the most important aspects of our life. So there was huge demand and there were hardly few people to teach this important skill. So your first focus should be on acquiring skills that can help you earn good money. And if you are already working, then make sure that you keep learning and keep upgrading your skills. Maybe do certification or learn some stuff online so that you stay relevant and can earn more income. Another point I want to add is do not run behind shortcuts to make quick money. A lot of people look for shortcuts to make quick money online. And there are thousands of videos out there that suggest how you can earn online. Trust me friends, if you want to earn good money and that too consistently, then you need to keep patience. You need to focus on building skills that are in demand and that would require time. It won't happen overnight. That reminds me of a great reply from Lionel Messi. When Messi became a star footballer, a reporter asked him the secret to become an overnight success. He said, I start early and stay late, day after day after day, year after year. It took me 17 years, 114 days to become an overnight success. You see my point, there's no shortcut to success and money. You have to work hard. Then second step is I managed my risk. So once you start earning, you would obviously have to invest it so that it can grow and help you achieve financial freedom at an early age. But before you invest your money, you got to manage your risk. Let me give you a good analogy to help you understand what is risk management. 
So when you drive a car, the first thing you do is wear a seat belt. So that in case of an accident, seat belt can save your life. That's exactly the role of risk management in financial planning. Now, how did I manage my risk? First of all, I opted for a term plan. Folks, life insurance is very important. The moment we start earning, we get bombarded with insurance come investment plans like ULIP and so on. Please do not mix insurance and investment because majority of insurance come investment plans have low return, poor transparency and high commission charges. Only the term plan is best. So I took a term plan of 2 crore that created a protection for my family in case of an unexpected event. Second, I opted for a good medical plan. Again, a medical plan is very important. The healthcare cost in India is rising at a rapid rate and a few days of hospitalization can cost you lakhs. Hence, always take a medical plan to ensure that you don't need to break your investment in case of a medical emergency. Although I understand that it is not easy to select the right health plan due to a lot of jargons and fine prints. That's where Ditto steps in. They offer 100% honest and spam fee advice for in health insurance. They have a rating of 4.9 on Google and have advised more than 2 lakh customers. They also have a tool on their website where you can understand health insurance and even compare different policies. You can set up a free 30 minute call with Ditto team where their experts can understand your requirement and guide you properly. So don't delay in having a health insurance for yourself and your family. Book a free call with Ditto insurance. Then third is I built an emergency budget. It is important to build an emergency fund of 6 to 9 months of your expenses. For example, if your monthly expenses are let's say 50,000, it could also include let's say your car EMI, home loan. Then you should have 3 to 4 lakh handy in case you have an emergency. So that tomorrow due to any reason if you end up losing your job or earning from business is not stable, then you can use that emergency fund. Then third step is I optimized my expenses. Let me be very honest. I've come across many people who earn a really good amount of money yet struggle to live paycheck to paycheck. They have no clue where the money is going. The problem is they don't have any control over their expenses. The moment they start earning, they end up buying crazy expensive stuff on EMI. Basically, they spend more than what they really earn. Now here, I'm not saying that you should not spend your money at all. All I'm saying is invest wisely and build a habit of saving. Some people think that let me enjoy my life today and I'll start saving after a few years. The problem with this approach is that those people never built a habit of saving. The moment they get a salary hike or bonus, they end up spending that money and become a victim of lifestyle inflation. And I would again repeat, there's a fine line between being an economic spender and a miser. Don't be a miser. Enjoy your life. Personally, I go out, eat, travel, have fun. But at the same time, I learn how to manage my budget and save money. If I had a very fancy lifestyle, I would have never been able to quit my job and achieve financial freedom. Again, I'm not saying that you should not buy expensive stuff. But if you want a BMW, then make sure that you really deserve it. Don't buy it on loan. Work hard, earn money and then buy it. If you want an iPhone, then make sure that you earn enough to afford it. There's no point buying an iPhone worth 80,000 when your salary is 25, 30,000. So once I started earning, managed my risk and saved money, the next step was to invest it wisely. So first of all, I started investing immediately as I realized the power of compounding to create wealth and help me achieve financial freedom at an early age. Second, I invested as per my financial goal. It's very important not to randomly invest your money. Your investment should be linked to the financial goal. A short-term financial goal requires investment in low volatility products. A long-term financial goal can be fulfilled by investment in equity fund, which is a combination of your equity mutual fund and stock. For instance, a corpus of 2 lakh to build an emergency fund is an example of short-term financial goal and a corpus of 5 crore in the next 10-15 years for retirement is an example of long-term financial goal. So I invested according to my financial goal. And then third, I diversified my investment. See, most people are either conservative where they keep their money in FD or gold while others are aggressive where they invest in high-risk stocks or futures and options. But the approach, both are wrong. You have to take a diversified approach to invest with the right balance of risk versus return. Then next, I avoided investment based on tips. A lot of people end up losing money because they end up investing based on tips. This is not sustainable. You don't want to depend upon others for the rest of your life to make money. And trust me, investment is not that complicated. You can learn how to do it yourself. Yes, it requires some time, 
but the confidence you get after the research is very important to ensure that you don't panic during market correction. And then finally, I kept patience and discipline. The biggest problem we want is that today, everyone want to double their wealth in no time. See, even a tree takes four to five years before it starts giving fruit. How can we expect to double our wealth in a few months? So patience is the most important virtue for a person to create wealth in stock market and even mutual funds. And make sure to invest money with a disciplined approach. Discipline to avoid looking at your portfolio too often. Discipline to stay invested for a long period. Personally, I followed people like Warren Buffett, Charlie Munger, Peter Lynch and tried to incorporate their teaching in every aspect of my life. So the four steps I followed include increasing my income, optimizing my expense, investing my money wisely and of course managing my risk. Because financial freedom cannot be achieved if there's a risk of losing your money. A hospital bill can easily wipe out your savings and investment. So having a comprehensive health insurance is quite essential. If you want help with selecting the right health plan, I provided a ditto link in the pinned comment. And now that I have achieved financial freedom, I just love doing my work of sharing knowledge on personal finance and investment. My goal is to help millions of people achieve their financial goal and live a comfortable life. I would love to know your financial journey and how you are planning to achieve financial freedom. Do let me know in the comments. And if you find this video useful, do share it with your friends. I'll see you next video. Till then, take care.